Okay. I want to bring up a ministry that I always talked about. You guys may have heard me talk about focus on the family when it should be to be focused on Yeshua, focus on Jesus, but focus on the family who has had a large influence in Christianity today. And I'm talking about worldwide, worldwide today. And, 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 for, and it's for decades. Let's look at some facts. Now, mind you guys, I was born in 1990, 1977. I'm 45 years old. I'll be 46 in September of 2000 in Roman calendar, 2023. And Focus on the family has been around as long as I, maybe even longer than I, they say they're on 46, longer than I've been born. Right there. So let's go to Focus on the Family. Focus on the Family was founded, did you find it? Was yeah. founded in 1977 in California, my home state. That's the state that I, that I was born in, Los Angeles, California, right? And it was founded by this man here, uh, James Dobson. James Dobson is the founder and he was the CEO of Focus on the Family for many years. And Focus on the Family serves 74 countries. Not, not, not states or counties or cities. They serve 74 countries. Okay, this is their campus. You can see this is their, they're here in Colorado Spring now. So they moved from California to Colorado Spring a while back. And they have a huge camp. I've been on that campus, guys. It is a beautiful campus. I'm not going to lie. A lot of acreage. It's like a freaking university, okay? Like bigger than university. That's their main hub, where people, welcome center where people go into. They got stuff for the children. I mean, you you go to your, your children ministry. They I mean, it's like, wait, they got... This, uh, the syndicated show on audio called The Adventure of Odyssey, The Ultimate Role. Uh, some of you guys may have saw that commercial on the Super Bowl with um, Tim Tebow. I mean, they paid millions of dollars for him to do an ad against, against uh, anti-abortion. Um, so Folk of the Family have a lot of money. Um, as, of, as of late, they have now designated themselves as a church. It used to be what they call a parachurch, supporting other churches. Now they can, they have officially made themselves in the last, I think two years ago, they made themselves a church so they don't have to show their books. So what I'm about to show you and reveal to you here is, well, before we get there, let me show you the CEO. Can we go to Jim Daly, the CEO? CEO, this is Jim. And I've met both of these men. I met Jim Daly before he was the CEO. And now he is the CEO because they kicked J uh, James Dobson out. He founded the ministry, but they have something in their um, in their papers or whatever that when you reach a certain age, you have to step down. And so that's how Jim Daly became the CEO of Focus on the Family. He was the next man in line, and he's taken over. And the founder now is doing another ministry, but he can't use the word Focus on the Family, even though he is the founder. It'll be like Pastor Dow because he reached a certain age, we kick him out and he cannot use straightway truth ministry. He has to start his own ministry and then somebody else steps in. It's, it's crazy. It's not like in Torah where that person is in that role until they die or can't are incapacitated. So Jim Daly is the CEO. The revenue, I want to show you guys this stuff. I'm trying to show you guys that I'm not making this thing up. folk. Because a lot of you guys, especially in the Hebrew, you guys don't understand. I used to listen to Focus of Family almost every day driving to work. Listen to for they, they they they're on your radio station. You may think you listen to a local radio station. It's probably from Focus on the Family. If you listen to radio, if you're driving, listen to Christian radio. They are the ones that 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 get a lot of that information out, teaching people on how to you know they 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 have probably the most they have more resources on how to raise family from psychological health, everything about raising family from a biblical biblical worldview. Which I guys I do this in quotes quote, quote, okay? Very egalitarian matriarch society, uh, Christian uh, thing. But a lot of stuff, they're in your commercials. They they, they they deal a lot of legislative stuff. Now they try to stay out of the legislative so they have other people to do that for them so they protect themselves and try to stay, you know, uh, uh, a religious institution that don't give into policy, but they're very entrenched in the system. Like I said, they, they impact 40, 
40, uh, 74 countries. Now look at their revenue, guys. Yes, you guys are seeing that right. That is not, those are not a, a, a dot. Those are commas. We didn't even have room to put the dot. That's $99 million. That's over. They're making, they're bringing, and this is in 2019. The reason we, why we don't know what they're bringing in in 2023 or 2022 is because they are church and churches don't have to open up their books. 501c3 churches do not have to open up their book. So but before the way they were organized, they had to show their books and they stopped. They, be, they changed their designation in 2020 so they don't have to. Because you know why? You would have saw a hundred, maybe two hundred million dollars. This is ninety nine million dollars in 2019. And this is just for one year. This is not what they made since 1977 to now. This is just one year, their revenue for one year. Now they're it, clearly, they're probably in the, in the hundreds, maybe even billions. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing this, Deacon? I'm seeing it. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of that's numbers. That's a lot. That's a lot of commas. You got 99 million. And we know this is just 2019. So this is public record. You can go look this up. They have over 600 employees. 600 employees. They have over 100 uh, volunteers, people just working for free, just giving up themselves to, for, to, to continue to spread their gospel, not the gospel, their gospel. And I'm going to show you today that, and they're the number one, I, I, they got to be number one if I'm not, maybe the Catholic church, but this is for Protestant. But when it comes to Protestant and what this country is kind of built on, they are the biggest influencer. If you had the Tony Evans, the, the vocabs, uh, anybody would love to be endorsed by Focus on the Family. You think that they, you think Focus on the Family will ever endorse Pastor Dow? <laughs> <laughs> they will freaking, they will roll over and die before they put Pat. They would not give Pastor Dow not even, one, they wouldn't even want to see an interview, nothing. I would love to call Jim Daly. Would you? Can you please put uh, Pastor Dow on your radio show? Can he come on your syndicated show and and tell you from his perspective what the Hebrew and keeping the Torah? They, they're not going to have him on there. He is completely opposite of what Focus and Family stands for. Focus and Family focuses on the woman, matriarchal. Pastor is patriarchal. Total opposite. Total opposite. So I hope I did a good job in building up this company called. Focus, that's their logo. You see their focus on the, sometimes you see F-O-F. -F. That's their, that's the initial F-O-F. -F. Focus on the family or yeah, I think it's F-O-N-F. -F. Okay. So anyway, all right. Now we're going to go and we're going to read a letter. <clears throat> Some people call in from all over the world calling this show Focus on the Family with their radio show, their TV. They got, they, they got all over the place calling them, asking them the question, because these people are the author. They, 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 they're they the expert. So when people are looking for answers on biblical marriage, they're not thinking of straightway truth ministry. They're not thinking of calling Elder Kabir. They're calling focus on the family. 